couldn't get petrol. There's supposed to be a kind of procedure for it, like if you honk a few times, um, someone comes out to 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 do it for you. But a lot of the time, there's only one person in the shop, so they can never come out. Um, so what I'm doing today is I've got my um, boyfriend, so you can get your your mum, your dad, your friend, your cousin, whatever, to follow you in the car, fill it up for you because it's just not worth the hassle of having to get a. It's just not worth the hassle of having to get out the car, fill it up, go pay for it, and then get in the car again. It's just it's just too much. I mean, obviously you can do that, but it's a lot easier if you have got a helping hand. So I normally get. Um, my boyfriend to do it um, by following me um, because the last time I came here there was only one person so I wasn't able to um, uh, get it done at all. Um, another time I've been here and there was someone there um, but I didn't have cash and they wouldn't accept card and I was like surely you can do it contactless and he said well I can't bring the card machine out here which doesn't really make any sense. Um, uh, and so I had to drive away with no petrol. Um, there was a time as well that I was going to my parents' house, which is an hour and a half away, and I um, and I pulled up to a gas station, and there was two people in there, so I thought it'd be okay. I honked three times, I think, and they looked at me. I waved my badge, which is what you're supposed to do, um, but no one came. <laughs> And so I kind of waited a bit and then I end up, most of the time I end up asking someone else, so a random stranger who's filling their car up, if they can go alert the shop owners. Um, because a lot of the time they don't actually come when you honk. I was literally waving my badge and then he came and he said, oh yeah, you need to do it like five times because sometimes people just accidentally honk. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Um, so that was a bit annoying so um but he did eventually come but then he said oh wait no i, I can't because i need to stay in the shop so i get a random stranger to fill my car up i had to give him i had to give her my card to go pay for it so i had to trust a random stranger to get my card and go um and go pay what i do is i do it 30 pounds which is the limit that you can do contactless so i always do 30 pounds um but yeah i literally had to get a stranger to do it So yeah, a lot of the time I do have to get a random stranger to do it for me, which is very embarrassing. Um, but I'm not getting out of the car and often when I do need to get petrol, it's after I've been to work and I'm very tired and I can't be bothered to waste another transfer. I've, I know, you know, friends that just get, just do it themselves. Um, but personally, I just don't think it's worth the, the effort. But yeah, there's been a lot of times where I do just get a random stranger to fill it up at least. And I, often I don't give them my card, but there was one time that I did give them my card. Um, normally the shop owner does come out with the card machine and then it's okay. But I do often ask just a random stranger who's filling up their own car if they can do it instead of getting the shop owners to do it. Because a lot of the time they don't have a, a spare person to come out and do it for me. Um, which I guess they always should and a lot of the time there is like a blue badge symbol um, saying that you know honk and there's assistance or you know there's I think there's like a digital way of doing it now I swear like with a QR code um, and you wouldn't you need to give any personal details out to anyone um, another time as well when I needed like 50 quid in my car that's obviously above the contactless option so they were able to do a way where they literally tap in every every number of my card um, into like a, a machine and, and it did it for them um, but it is just really unfortunate how a lot of the time you know they say that, that you know they've got this great policy but then you know in the times that you need it most they don't have anyone to come out to you and i just personally refuse to get out of the car because it's just so annoying to have to do that so yeah i always ask for a stranger's help there's been some lovely people who just help 
nowhere I just say excuse me could you just um, do you mind just filling my car up because there's no one in the shop to help me and I'm paraplegic um, so that was good and there's a there's a petrol station on the way back from work that they know me and as soon as they see me they can come out and they can do the contactless and give it the car machine um, and they're brilliant because I always do um, 30 on the way on the, on the way back from work if I'm really low um, because it is a half an hour drive and I'm spending like 200 quid on petrol a month <laughs> and as a teaching assistant like it doesn't get you very far but it is a big like chunky money really so hopefully when me and my uh, boyfriend get a house we are going to be able to get closer to my work just because my partner earns more than me and he's not in a blooming wheelchair <laughs> And then sometimes, you know, if I'm at my parents' house, I just get them to drive my car and my mum's insured on it. So she's able to drive my car. Oh yeah, and you probably don't know this, but hand controlled cars do actually return back to um, normal ones. So my car actually has a, has a pedal and, a, and everything and works like a normal car. So whenever I'm not using it, all that my mum has to do is put the foot pedal down and start it and then it returns to the, the the normal way of using your feet um so that's quite good so it doesn't remain um hand controlled which is a real plus really so if i'm at my parents house i just get my mum to nip out and get me some petrol um my partner's not my boyfriend's not actually insured on my car i need to get him insured and also because he's not used to driving automatic he's not very good at driving my car he's used to um, manual and my brakes are a lot 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 more sensitive than his um, so it's been quite funny getting him to get used to my car but when he is I'll get him assured and then he can just pop out and do it because um, now I'm on the way to work and uh, my blooming petrol light was on so you know I just I just get him to follow me in the car and then he can um, fill it up um, for me and go pay for me I'm sure one day I will get out the car I just that I just haven't been in a situation where I absolutely need to. I, I always ask for a stranger's help. Um, I'm never going to give my card away because I was panicking so much when I gave my card to a random stranger to trust him to go into a shop and go beep. <laughs> like he could have easily run away with it. Um, not a smart thing to do.
But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, um, and I'll see you in my next video.